the IAEA report, Iran stonewalling nuclear weapons probe. It says that the agency, the Iran, is blocking attempts to investigate allegations that Tehran carried out research and experiments linked to a nuclear weapons program. It also said that Tehran continues to expand its capabilities to enrich uranium. Basically, this goes back a long time, September 17th, it's another mention of the report. Big Bang report blasts Iran. It's quite a far cry from IAEA follows a logical approach towards modality agreement. While confirming the agency's full scope inspection and verification of Iran's nuclear activities, discovering no evidence of any military diversion is premeditated with serious concern and outstanding questions. There you go. Well, outstanding questions, that's fair enough, but let's see what they are. The IAEA describes a collection of weaponization designs and Documents that suggest Iran has tried to develop a nuclear warhead as alleged studies and wants Tehran to identify the factually correct parts of the documents and those it considers fabricated. Iran has not been forthcoming in replying to our questions, and we seem to be at a dead end there, a senior United Nations official was quoted as saying on Monday. Do you, are, are we all aware what this means? The IAEA has nuclear weaponization program documents by Iran. Here we have some more. May 30th, 2008. Alarming. IAEA obtains Iran blueprint for nuclear warheads. Western diplomats said the agency was given the, an Iranian government document that illustrated a technique to mold uranium metal into the shape of a warhead they said the agency determined that the blueprint was genuine and demonstrated Iran's interest in nuclear weapons. What's more? June 16th, 2008. Iran and North Korea may have bought nuclear missile blueprints. The discovery of designs for a compact nuclear bomb has raised fears that Iran and North Korea might have obtained blueprints enabling them to mount long-range strikes with nuclear-armed missiles. Now, we can see as far back as 2005 this issue began, although it's not the same of course because these are new released, but this is an older one released. Iranians admit receiving nuclear warhead blueprints from disgraced Pakistani experts. International suspicions of Iran's nuclear program heightened yesterday when it was revealed that Tehran had obtained a blueprint showing how to build the core of a nuclear warhead. Informed diplomats said the blueprint for casting uranium was required in making the, the core of a nuclear warhead. So what do we have? We have as far back as 2005 questions about um, blueprints and then we have new ones raised by Iranian blueprints not just uh, these are ones that they purchased now their excuse as far as I've been able to gather has been oh we, we got it for free with other schematics we purchased this is for the older ones the more the, the 2005 ones now that is the most ridiculous thing anyone has ever heard what is it a buy buy one get one free you bought a blueprint for something you got one free it's ridiculous but in any case most people uh, who su are supportive of Iran's supposedly nuclear program e who constantly say to us there's no proof whatsoever there's no proof whatsoever even though I've just shown you several points of evidence they they still end up thinking well it's not a big problem it's only you know it's only Israel well Israel's here this is the Shahab 3 maximum range as you can see it goes well beyond Israel now that's fine because missiles you know, aren't always designed to reach just their destination. It's usually reasonable to reach more. When I say fine, I mean fine as in that's the, or their excuse, so that's fine. I don't mean it's acceptable, because obviously it's not. However, this is the Shahab 3. It already reaches Europe, reaches Central Asia, starts to reach Eastern Asia, and it reaches Africa. The Shahab 4 has a range of two to three thousand kilometers. There's also a Shahab 5 believed to be under design with an even longer range. So 
If that's 2,000 kilometers, then 3,000 somewhere here. That already covers Central Europe and much of Africa and a lot of Asia and a lot of Russia. That's a very serious threat. These are missiles are in production. They're in design at the very least. So why why would a country that has a missiles that can reach all their real adversaries and say that they're only building peaceful uh, tools and they only build towards peaceful purposes? Why would they have nuclear uh, warhead plans, designs and schematics that they're not forthcoming about? On several different occasions they've been caught with this. We're going back to 2005. Um, the so-called outdated questions yet to be answered. Um, and uh, we can also see that they're not building weapons to reach Israel or regional enemies. They're building weapons to reach Europe. They're building re weapons that will threaten the Western world. So really, I, I think the more evidence comes out, the more their intentions are clear. And uh, it's incredible how people are, are still, how anyone is still fooled by this still fooled by their excuses. It, it, it really does feel like anyone who's fooled by it is someone who wants it to not be true, rather than looks at what is available as evidence. This is what is available. This is what we know. And uh, what we know is that the outstanding questions with Iran are about nuclear warhead designs that are found and are considered genuine by the IAEA. Now, the Western countries, many of them have been very critical of the IAEA and of Mohammed al baradei So, uh, you know, in Israel they've called for him to be sacked. So it's not uh, that they're exactly, that he's exactly following their plans or their views. This is, this, this, uh, this feels like it's the drawn-out version of what should have been. So even in this drawn-out version, Iran still comes out with the, these results. It's still found that they've got nuclear weapon warhead designs. So I think the evidence is mounting, and I, I'm glad that the IAEA at least mentions it, but I'm amazed at the lack of mention in the media and discussions about these uh, plans. Hey guys, just wanted to add something. IAEA info suggests that Iran worked on nuclear missile. The UN Nuclear Monitoring Agency shared new photos and documents purporting to show that Iran tried to refit its main long-distance missiles to carry a nuclear payload. I think this is very incriminating. I think that um, you know we've already uh, got Iran caught in 2005 for having nuclear weapon blueprints. They gave unreasonable excuses then. Now in 2008, they were caught again with nuclear blue weapon blueprints, different ones. They have yet to explain them, which they think is reasonable to not explain it. And um, now we have photos being released of a weapons program off their on their missiles. I think anyone who continues to defend them is just deluding themselves, and it's just doing this for. It's it's becoming a more ever more evident that to defend Iran is to delude yourself. It's 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 almost a habitual act rather than a fact-based act. 